Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Creating a life you love with T crew. Welcome to creating a life with T where we are creating a life we love together. Today is Friday, November the 15th, 2024. It is a beautiful day that God has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Today, we are just going to read the Psalms. I have found that it is amazing to just cover the Psalms and embed it in our heart. Today, we will be going from the NIV version, Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked unto him and were enlightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth him. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O fear the Lord, ye saints, for there was no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they seek the Lord, shall not want any good thing. I'm going to repeat 10. It says, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, Hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, thy lips from speaking any guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace. And pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and the ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them are broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Amen, amen. I have just come to you with reading Psalm 34. We cover the entire verse. all of the verses in the whole chapter.
as you can see through the years, it's been some that have just really lingered in my heart and stayed very close to me. You know, this isn't just words on a page. When you read God's word, we have to embed it in our heart. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul should make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. Jumping down the eight. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Number 19 has always been powerful to me as well. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. Hey, we have, it, it is written, God will never leave us nor forsake us. He has us. And as we study to be students of his word all the more. I don't care if we've known some of these scriptures, but it is a refreshing to our day, to our life. Whatever we may be dealing with, whatever we may be going through, God's word is truly a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. I pray that you have an amazing day. Walk in faith, knowing that God has you, Walk in victory and know that God has you. His word just told us, I just, he, he said, hey, excuse me, just try it. It works. Just taste it. Taste it and see. Okay. And then, you know, he even goes in 19 saying, you're going to be afflicted. Life is going to be life and things are going to be happening. But the clause at the end of that is, he delivers us out of, out of them all. And sometimes the way that God delivers us out is not how we would think uh, or prefer for him to. Amen. But we got to keep on keeping on knowing that his ways is not our ways. And at the end of the day, you know, he has us. Have you ever went through anything and you just didn't know how it was going to come out, baby? You just, oh, Lord, this. You know, this the end. This it. But guess what? If we can look back, it means he brought us through. Amen. Amen. It's a beautiful thing. So I pray that you have an amazing day. Thank you for joining me. I am T with creating a life you love with T. Well, we're creating a life we love together. Make your declarations over your life over your family, over your business, over your mindset, your body, and your ideas. Because God has told us, Psalms 34, that he has us. He has us as children, as babies, protecting us in his arms. We have to remain in the ark of safety. Amen. Lord, I thank you for bringing us through another wonderful week. I thank you for protection and provision and, and, and keeping us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Danger seen and unseen danger. And we ask you to continue carrying us through. Lord, as we are in these last weeks, the countdown to the end of the year, we ask you that you just show yourself strong all the more. Lead God and direct us into your truth. And we will give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Amen. Have an amazing day. I love you. Mean it.